Buongiorno. Hello, hello, good morning. Um, today, I want to teach you something very, very crucial in your makeup application process. So, I like to teach how to use my favorite makeup, but you know what, I thought that was very limiting to a lot of my friends and followers who might not use my makeup or who might not be able to have it available to them because my favorite makeup is only available in the United States and Canada and I still wanna teach you everyone around the world, no matter what type of makeup you use, I still wanna teach you some great makeup techniques that are simple things that can enhance your beauty. So today we're gonna to talk about contouring, a step-by-step -step process. It doesn't matter what type of contour you have, you can use these tips to shape your face and contour and chisel and make it extra beautiful. So what you need is any contour, whatever brand of makeup that you like to use, go out and buy it or use what you have already. You want a good contour and a brush and your face. Okay, a nice clean face. Now, um, with contour, you want to stay away from the orangey Oompa Loompa shades. Contouring is not to make you look oranger. It is to make you look like you have shadows and shape on your face. So we want to reach for those, those browns that are ashier, that create a shadowy effect. So that's what you want to look for. So if you're shopping for your favorite makeup in your favorite store online or in person and you're looking for contour shades, look for ones that will be ashier tones because you don't want to look orange. We're not trying to create orangeness on our face. We don't want to make us look fake. We actually want to um, put those shadows back on our face and make us look as natural as possible because we're not covering up our face. We're not making it look like we're wearing tons of makeup. We're just enhancing our natural beauty and bringing out our beautiful features. So the whole purpose of contouring is to create those shades and shadows, dimension and chiseling features. So right now I have, I have my, my eye makeup done and I have a light layer of foundation all over my face. So my skin tone right now is all evened out, my redness, color correcting, all that is taken care of. But what you do when you put one layer of foundation on your face is you have taken out, taken out your natural shadows. So now you can't see that I have a cheekbone anymore because I have put one color all over my face and you can't see that I have natural shadows up here because um, I have my foundation. You, so by putting foundation on your face, yes, you're evening out your skin tone and that's great, but then you're also taking out those shadows and dimensions and so you have a flat look on your face. And so contouring helps bring back those shadows and gives you shape and gives you those feminine features that you were born with. So that's what contouring is about and that's why it's a really great addition to your makeup process because it really makes you look more alive and more beautiful, more feminine. And that's what we want, right? Yes, we wanna look and feel our best. So stop right now and get whatever you have in your makeup kit. If you have some contour, whether it's like a contour stick or contour powder maybe you have, or contour cream, whatever you have, grab it, or make a list that that's what you wanna put into your makeup routine, and let's do this, okay? So my favorite is I use my custom palette, and I have my foundation, and my blush, and all my contour, and all in here. So right here, I have two contour colors that I like to kind of switch between. So that's what I'm gonna be using. This is cream makeup, and then I'm gonna be using a contouring brush. This is my favorite brush to use because it has a smaller end on this side that I can use for detailing and then a larger end on this side that I can use for larger areas or for blending really well. But you use whatever you have, whatever you love, and let's kind of get to the step-by-step -step basics of contouring, okay? So the areas on your face that you want to contour are your cheekbone. We want to make those cheekbones pop. We want to bring that femininity back into our face. So we're gonna be focusing on our cheekbones, on our jawline, on our forehead, and on our nose. Those are the main areas that you want to contour, okay? So let's go ahead and start with my favorite, which is the cheekbones, because I feel like the cheekbones are a really great way to add that fun pop on your face and really brings your face to life. So I'm gonna be using my cream um, contour. You use whatever you have. 
and you can use these same techniques with whatever product you're using. So I'm going to use my brush and plop it in. And what you want to do is you want to find like your ear and your hairline, the top of your cheekbone, right up here. You have, you have a cheekbone, no matter what shape face you have, whether you have a tiny face, a medium face, a larger face, round face, oval face, square face, whatever shape and size face you have, you have a cheekbone. You just got to feel for it. So you'll feel like there's your eye area right here and down right here you have a hollow in your cheek. Right here is your cheekbone and that's where you're going to want to apply your contour. You start at your hairline at the top of your cheekbone and you are going to draw a line. Just follow your bone, okay? And you're going to want to stop right about the corner of your eye to the pupil of your eye, somewhere in between there. You don't want to go too far past that point because then you get in this area and then you look like you're putting a beard on your face and you don't want to look like a man. We're trying to look more feminine. So start right here and follow that cheekbone all the way to about the corner or the pupil of your eye, okay? Now I don't have, I don't have a lot of fluff in my cheeks. So I like to kind of add a little bit of a curve, a little bit of a push up bra effect on my cheek to make it look like I have a little bit more of a cheek. If you have a beautiful, if you were born with beautiful cheeks, then you can just do a line and call it good. You kind of, you kind of got to um, play around with it and see what you feel and look your best in. Try some different techniques, some different shapes, some different um, lengths of contouring and you do what works best for you. This works best for my face shape. So figure out what works good for you. Okay. So do the same thing on your other side is you're going to want to Find your cheekbone and your hairline up here at where it starts and follow right along it and stop right where your eye pupil goes, okay? Right, right where it starts, right? So I didn't go too far in, got my, my lines. We're just painting on and we're gonna blend. It looks gonna look funny right now, but it's gonna look great in a minute. Now let's focus on our jawline. So if you have a prominent jaw, that's great. Then just go ahead and go right along your jawline. If you don't have a prominent jawline, if you have a little bit of extra skin, a little bit extra um, meat down here, you know, um, it's not very defined, then you still, you want to create a line and you're going to create that shadow so that when you, when people look at you, you see some darkness right here and it looks like you have a more prominent uh, line. So we are creating an image and creating shadows to um, define this area and to kind of slim it out a bit. So go ahead and start at your, your ear and you're going to follow along your jawline. If you, if you have a defined jawline, just follow along it. If you don't, then just create a line and then we're going to blend it down our neck when we get to the blending process. So right here. Okay. You can kind of, it's kind of hard to see, but just draw that line and do the same thing on the other side. Start at your ear and follow right along right there. Okay. So now we have our cheeks and we have our jawline. Now let's do our forehead. Now I want you to think about a ball. If you were to shine a light on a ball, it would be you know brighter right in the middle and then it would be shadowed at the top. Your face is similar. We want to have that shadowing effect at the top so that we create lightness right here and then we shadow it right where our forehead curves. So that's why we are applying it on our forehead. Now, if you have a very small forehead, you can skip this process because we don't wanna make your forehead look even smaller. If you have a larger forehead, then let's put some more um, contour up on your forehead so that we can kind of trick the eye into thinking it's a little bit more balanced. If you have a medium, then just do a, you know, a, a good amount. All right, so you're just going right along your hairline and you're just painting it on. It's really easy. Just paint along. See, my bangs kind of cover up on the side, so I'm not worrying about so much on the side. If you have bangs, you know, don't worry about where your bangs cover up. If you um, don't have bangs, then just go all along, okay? So we're just doing a line right there along our, our hairline, and then we're going to blend, okay? Let's go ahead and blend now, and then we'll do our nose, because our nose is a little bit different. 
So now, whatever tool you have, whether you have a like beauty blender, a makeup sponge that is damp, that's the key, you need to make sure it's damp, not dry. Um, you can blend with a beauty blender or if you have a great brush, um, blend with, get your brush to blend, okay? So this is my favorite brush to blend and to apply. Um, you're gonna wanna go ahead and blend upwards. We're, we want to lift our cheeks, we don't wanna draw them down. So we are gonna be blending, buffing, blending out that color so that it doesn't have a stark line, okay? We wanna make it look as natural as possible. Do you see how beautiful that blends and how natural it looks when you blend it all out, okay? And then I can blend, I'll blend even more with my, my makeup sponge in just a second, okay? So now, see how I have a little bit more defined cheekbones? Now my face isn't so flat because of just the foundation color. Do the same thing on the other side. Blend, buff, circular motions, whatever you need to do to get that color looking more natural and blended into your face, okay? Blend, blend, blend. Now on your jawline, we're gonna wanna blend down. We want to extend that shadow down into our neck because our face is shadowing our neck and so we have those natural shadows and we're just blending that into our neck so it looks even more natural. So blend it down. And because I'm using an ashier brown, it looks very natural. I'm not using an orangey brown, which makes me look like I'm wearing makeup and it makes it look like I am fake. We don't want that, we wanna look natural. Okay, now on your forehead, you want to blend into your hairline. Blend it up into there so you don't see a line, you don't see that contrast. You just see this nice, simple, radiant shadow. See that? Doesn't that look very natural? See now I have some shadowing on my forehead, I have some shadowing on my cheekbones, and I have some shadowing along my jawline. We are looking more alive now. I don't have that flat face. And this is what contouring does. It brings your face to life. This is beautiful. All right, so now let's go ahead and do our nose. You don't have to do your nose because I know this can kind of be a little bit tricky, especially if you feel like you're a very beginner. Um, I didn't used to do my nose and I just feel more comfortable and I, now that I do it, I just can't not do it. Um, so there are a few different ways you can do this. You can use, I like to use the sharp end of this brush and do it. You can use your finger. You can use a smaller brush like, like this and like paint it on. Do whatever you have in your toolkit of makeup tools and um, we're gonna work and do this together. So I'm gonna use my same contour that I've been using. I'm gonna dab it in there and I'm gonna be going along. I am creating shadow right along the sides of my nose. Because along your nose, you, st you are shadowed naturally. We're just enhancing those shadows. I am trying to make my nose appear slimmer. The bridge of my nose have a little bit more definition, okay? That's the look that I'm going for. So I'm going to apply it right there along the bridge of my nose. Always start with a little bit, and then you can always add more. It's easier to add more than it is to take away. And do the same thing on the other side. Apply it right there, right along the bridge of your, or the sides of your nose and you're blending down so that it looks natural. Just go back and add as much as you want. See how my nose now has a little bit more definition and it's a little bit slimmer, right? Isn't it kind of magic? It's like, I just performed a magic trick, all right? Not a lot, it's just a little bit. It just kind of gives you a little bit more definition, but it looks very natural because it is that ashy shadow, okay? Now, at this point, if you want a little bit more um, definition on your nose, you can take your foundation color. Mine's right here. I'm just gonna dab my finger in it, just a light, about, a light amount, and I'm gonna dab a little bit along the bridge of my nose to make that a little bit more 
defined. It's almost like a reverse contour. A little bit light on top and shadowed on the sides, okay? At this point, you can take your makeup sponge, which is damp. This is how you properly use a makeup sponge is you make sure it's damp and wring it out really well. And then you can go back over and blend it out really well so that you pick up any excess makeup product, um, you get rid of any excess lines, you make it look really natural. Do the same thing on your nose, okay? And there you go. It's not hard. You can do this. You can do this. And do you see how now your face looks more feminine? You have now some more shape and dimension. You have some chiseled out features on your face. It's beautiful. Top your look off with a little bit of blush. Don't be afraid to blush. Blush is your friend. Blush gives you a little bit of flush to your face. Not like you're a hot, sweaty mess, but like you are, um, have a, a nice little rosiness to your, to your look. I, apply, I like to apply it with my finger and then I just blend it into my contour. See, it looks very natural. It doesn't look like I'm a clown. Very natural. Okay, so that is how to contour step by step. Doesn't matter what makeup brand that you use. Use whatever works for you, whatever is available to you, wherever you live, whatever you feel comfortable with. If you love powder, stick with powder. If you love cream, stick with cream. If you love liquid, go for liquid. I don't know all the different kinds of contouring. This is my favorite contouring because I can totally customize my palette and my colors all right here. I love it. And then this is my favorite brush. But you do whatever works for you. The key is to stick with contouring your cheekbone contouring your jawline, contouring your forehead, and contouring your nose. And you will just look more alive, more natural. Once you put that foundation on your face, you have that flat look. And we don't wanna look flat and lifeless. We wanna look alive and beautiful. We wanna enhance those natural features that we were born with, not covering them up, just enhancing them, making them pop, okay? We wanna look feminine. And contouring will help you get there. So if you have any questions, please pop them below. I will also put in um, the description of this video where you can find my favorite makeup, um, but you use whatever works best for you. So have a fabulous day. Take some time for yourself so that you can feel good and then get out there and do good, okay? Ciao.